WordPress.com. So if you do a Google search for WordPress, you'll come across two sites, WordPress.org and then WordPress.com. What are the differences between the two? Well, one is a paid commercial site and the other is not. Uh, WordPress.com and WordPress.org share the same basic platform. But the WordPress.com platform is an online platform. You can set up a free site or there are also paid packages. Again, this is a commercial site, so depending on whether you want a domain or storage space, uh, there are packages for that. Uh, WordPress.com includes preloaded plugins. Uh, this is an example of a WordPress.com site. Looks pretty good. It's undeveloped. And a lot of this basic functionality in WordPress.com can also be found in the WordPress application that will that this video will focus on. So there's site identity, you can change the title, tagline, change colors, change the background color, the header text color, fonts. And as you can see, it's a pretty user-friendly site very easy to make all these adjustments. Header image, so we have a skyline here, we could change that. Menus. You can adjust widgets. So these are certain areas of a page that can be adjusted either with a text box or a photo or what have you. We'll go into that later. Setting a static front page or home page. All of this you'll be able to find in the developer's uh, application. I think on the whole WordPress.com may be a good option if you're just interested in putting together a quick website. Uh, you don't want to spend a great deal of time putting together the website. WordPress.com could be that option, but we're not going to focus on WordPress.com here.